Hey guys, this is Day from Daylight Healing Oracle, and this is just a general message for whoever it resonates with. I set the intention that whoever is meant to hear this message, it will find you. So you take what resonates and leave the rest, and hopefully we can all find some healing from this. So I just want to start with a chakra card and kind of get the overall energy that's going on here. Spiritual awakening just came out. <laughs> Cards seem to want to pop out, so <laughs> definitely awakening. I'm feeling that. Anything else? We've got number eight, abundance on the bottom of the deck, referring to the root chakra and, you know, our, our stability on this plane, us taking the sacred eight and pulling it forth into this world, family and mother earth. Well, I think that that's giving us a real great start here. Spiritual awakening, <laughs> abundance, family, and Mother Earth. Now, I think that we're all kind of going through this mass awakening whatever level you seem to be on we are changing the way that we communicate with one another when it comes into the terms of our physical means and respecting our environment respecting the great mother because it is not to take it is to receive it is to give freely it is to have a symbiotic relationship with our mother that she is part of our family. She is part of our abundance. You know, you have we have so much here in the material world that is so beautiful. But sometimes I think you know that's the whole that's the whole thing of our societies is that we lost the spiritual because we because we went to the physical and we put too much of a price on the physical because nothing is worth our spiritual awakening and our inner peace and our mother. And our mother is the one who provides our abundance. Our mother is our family. And, you know, I think this is the awakening that we're all going through or, you know, <laughs> that I am, that whoever is resonating with this reading is because we are changing the way in which we bring spiritual abundance onto this earth and in, in the way that we ground ourselves in the physical realms. We no longer stab each other in the back to try to cultivate some sort of abundance we have this self mastery now to understand how to ground this how to ground this into reality so i'm just going to pull some of these astrology cards they've got the planets and the zodiac signs and the houses and let's just get you know a little bit of information on where this is being seen and felt right now. Let's do another one of those. Okay, okay, Spirit. Where is this being transformed right now? Where are we feeling this? Woo! Aquarius and Pluto just uh, coming out. Your ability to transform, take a big leap forward, and rebirth. So we've got the ninth house, broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. I really feel that there. 
Mars. I was feeling Mars. You know, it's a Tuesday when I'm recording this and uh, the Mars energy is active today. Mother Gaia is feeling, you know, <laughs> feeling that fire today. Your physical energy drives strength and fighting spirit. You know, yeah, yeah. The divine feminine within us, our fighting spirit the sixth house, the work, health, and duty area of your life. It's, it's, this is about, this is about taking care of ourselves every day and, you know, being able to cultivate a life of stability. What does abundance mean? Abundance means, I mean, to me, to, I think, uh, you know, to a lot of people now, it means Having the freedom to have agency over your daily life and your well-being and to not feel constricted by the physical world of the society that is built upon greed and capitalism and, you know, that we know who we are and, you know, this all, all topped with the first house with the impression that we give with what people see because so much so much time and energy i feel is spent putting on some sort of appearance for the outside world for how we are seen for what we do for our health our work for our drive for how we are on gaia are we abundant and spiritually aware on gaia well it's about the impression that you give to yourself, I think. Because the impression we give to ourselves, we can we can put on a show for a while on the outside with uh, by physical means, by physical looks, by whatever. We by, you know, finding something, liking something, you know, having it to give us the impression of who we are. And I think that's like, uh, that's the kind of first lesson that we're taught when we're taught to not look in inward and we're taught to shun our emotions. Well, go outside to find who you are because inside's too scary because that's where all the emotions are. So we start going outside and you know, it's like, it's this never ending rat race. And I don't know about you, you know, hopefully you're resonating with this if you uh, found this video. But I think we're, I, I mean, I'm done with that. I don't want to do it. I don't, and I don't want it for anybody. I don't want it for me and I don't want it for anybody because I want happiness and health for everybody. And health and wealth and love and peace and kindness is what we are getting and what we are creating. And like, get a fucking amen on that because I fucking believe that. So... <laughs> Let's get a message from an angel and um, from an, the Ascended Masters and angels here. Okay. All right. Lady Venus downloads and understandings. Humanity, faith, benevolence, stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. See the light in the world and you know that's what I want for you that's what I want for me that's what I want for everybody is the love and the benevolence and the kindness in the world let's put this selenite I feel like the I feel like Mars here and guy I really want this selenite <laughs> the flower of life and who else is out here Sanat Kumara light activation shine your light your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear so you know now that i've kind of gotten around the energies of i think what's go unpacked a little bit of the energies here i want to let you know that if you're if you're here and you're still watching this reading and you're going through some stuff where it you feel it in the first house you feel it in the sixth house you feel it in your physical life, in your daily life, in your body, in how you're 
and how you're presenting yourself, you're re relearning maybe, you know, developing a new understanding of the importance of how we create and build and learn here because uh, our family, I mean, you look at the way that he, these animals care for one another. And yes, we have the um, circle of life and we have the of obvious darker sides of the um, animal instincts. But I wanna talk about the light sides that don't, because the darker sides all have to do with a lack of this root chakra, which with, with, with a lack of balance in this root chakra, with fear, with lack. And that is what is been working really well to control, but not anymore. No fucking more, no way, no how. I mean, at least that's what we're saying here. We're saying that we're gonna shine our light. We're gonna have faith in the fact that following our true guidance is what brings us stability. You know, we don't have to steep, we don't have to step down to these levels where we hurt others or take from others or try to step upon the backs of others and, you know, compete for every little scrap. That's not what we're doing anymore. You know, Lady Venus, oh, beautiful Lady Venus. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. I mean, just look at the white light here and the blue light, the truth radiating through. So if you're struggling right now because the world is fucking crazy right now, we can all agree upon that. All of the shadows that have been hidden, that everyone's been denying, the everything under all the rocks is coming out, but we can focus on the light. We can focus on creating what we want and where that's going to lead us. And, you know, actually what's around us, we just have to, we just have to look through the right eye to see the truth around us, to know that faith is what shows you the way above all. I mean, it really is our heart, the truth. I mean, this is, this is the truth. Let's walk forward. We are beings of light. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna get a couple more cards here. I think that I wanna pull some tarot right now. And I get some mermaid tarot, some divine feminine water energy. This also has such beautiful fire lava energy. And I just, I love this deck. I love the stories. I love the images. What spirit can we connect to, to find our way through and these storms <laughs> five of swords some yeah yeah to fight these storms yeah i felt that coming through i just want to okay um i i, I just want to put this here because the okay and then i'm gonna pull it again but these i, I want to do it yeah because <laughs> Ooh, this just came out and, you know, who am I to deny what spirit has to say to me? So, you know, these storms, this looks the five of swords that, you know, things have been cutting. We've been picking up the swords. We're trying, we're, we're working together. We're trying to figure out how to move here. And, you know, we're using these new tactics and they kind of have, maybe they've been cutting us a little bit and um we're learning how to use this energy in a new way i mean we've got the ten of pentacles right here uh, that, with all these sword energies here 
so I mean I mean look at this this really looks to me I mean you have the five of swords the page of swords knight of swords and six of swords this deck is like shuffled a lot there's no <laughs> the sword cards are not usually <laughs> like I shuffle this deck so this came out pretty this is pretty significant to me I feel like this is telling a story just as I was shuffling and just as this these cards just begin to began to came out I got this I, I got this feeling of what what are these storms um it's because there are storms here and I I'd, I think that they have to do with the new way that we're grounding on Gaia because we're we're relearning how to be, how to think, how to do, how to, you know, we, we have to talk to our ego who still has these fears of like, but what do I do? How do I make this happen? But these are my these are my, my physical needs that I need to be met. How do I do that? And you know, it's all a lot of mental energy about this. Oh, a lot of mental energy is coming through. You know, it really looks like a training. I mean, look at the evolution of the of these people in this in the swords cards. We've got the five of swords moving into the page of swords. So really what this is telling me is like, you know, we five is change. So changing our thought patterns. That's what we really got to do. I mean, you actually have to pick up the sword sometimes against the four other swords to change the, sh the, the thought patterns that, that you, you know, that you had to heal from. That's what the four of swords is, is healing your thoughts from the three, you know, from the, the heartbreak of that. But this is really like, it's all about our mind perpetuating our own heartbreak, perpetuating our own battles within our mind of how we can create our own stability here. I mean, look, the 10 of pentacles is here. Seven of wands right behind that, page of wands right behind that. Like that fire is strong and it is protected. And like, this is the heart, I'm seeing this, I'm really seeing this as the fire of the hearth and home of the 10 of pentacles is protected as we go through this journey because whatever dream that you have that took you on this journey right now where you're where you're sitting here watching this video and knowing that the next knowing that even though you might have some storms come up about where you are and the steps you've taken and the next steps coming there is a spiritual awakening that is undeniable and you're learning. You are learning. You changed the thought patterns. This is the past. This is, this is it. I mean, it, time is very fluid. So I think sometimes we go in spirals of these healings. But uh, just know that it's natural. It's the flow. It's the natural pattern of Mother Nature is to heal and to move in spirals. We don't, we don't just go in straight lines. But even with all these swords, we go in the straight lines. Like this guy, this guy's swirling. He's the six of swords. He's, he's getting to the good stuff. He's getting away from all the bad stuff, but he, and he's swirling. He's not going in a straight line. So, you know, really using the tactics of looking at our mind and our thoughts of what we desire, of the way we think, of the way we look into things and, you know, appreciating that bringing positivity, moving forward with grace and fortitude and training our mind because all is mind at the end of the day and we will get a we will get through it. You will get through this. I'm here with you because we are all here together and I think that this is this this might this is going to be hitting specifically but also general because if you are ready to be free this is this is a this is a journey we go through in our minds and you know it's okay don't don't get worried about the cut and the bleeding it's okay we heal 
can pick it up again. You learn how to pick it up in a better way. And then soon you're wielding it like a master and you're getting away from that bad energy and you're moving towards your your future that's waiting for you here that's being protected that you see you see this you know at least we all see this hmm. and then right behind that we got king of swords you know becoming the king of the mind <laughs> okay so I just want to get um, a few more cards of advice to kind of uh, you know just bring us bring us full circle here I'm gonna pull these down give us a little bit more space Ooh, well, I've been feeling like, you know what, I'm going to take this knight here and I'm going to move this around. <sighs> okay. Now, I just want to get... One card from the ancestors. Ancestors. Woo, popping out. <laughs> okay, okay, ancestors. Talk to me. <laughs> Spring, see your seeds grow. Shift your perception. Okay, see her. See beyond the current situation. Okay. Okay, Seer, we hear you. Let's put you right over here. Okay, Seer, we hear you. Oh, Guardian Angel, you are not alone. Okay, like, let's put that right here with, like, all of the, with Lady Venus. I mean, really, we are not alone here. We are not alone here. So, Faith, Seer, shift your perception see your seeds grow whatever i mean this is timeless so whether or not you're watching this when i upload it with and when i right after i filmed this which is in the summer right um around lion's gate what i you know if, if, if we're talking about that timing you know it the spring we've been planting seeds we kind of went through the spring we've been planting seeds what are we waiting for our seeds to grow still are we not really seeing everything of the seeds have we not seen the sprout or are we just see, seeing the sprout and we're waiting for those flowers you know and we're waiting for the flowers so the, and waiting for the for the fruit Well, shift your perception because this is what this is because I mean all of all of this air energy, you know, shift your perception. Get out of the the conflict mind. But you know, you got to go through the conflict mind to change your thoughts. You got to change your thoughts and then start looking at them in a new way. Start training your thoughts. This, I, the, you know, I love the, I love the, the passage in the book about this because it talks about how this guy's sleigh is like not a very well designed sleigh. Like he threw it together. Him and his seal friends like are just getting out of Dodge. Like they're just like, let's get the fuck out of here now. Like we got places to go. Like I, this is just not where I want to be. I want to change. I'm going to get away from the choppy waters. You know, I'm going to go I'm gonna slide across this ice and this might not be the most perfect sled but it will do and it is getting me where I need to go <sighs> you know that's what that's what I'm saying about my my beautiful 
vehicle as well. <laughs> and it is perfect for me right now. And it whatever we have right now, whatever you have right now is perfect for you right now. And it will help you. Whatever you have can help you get to where you want to be. Even if by the perception of the old uh, of the old views of our physical reality doesn't really um, look like that. And even though, you know, maybe maybe there's some you want the, the ambition and drive to move forward is, you know, asking, like, where is it? Where is it? It's here. It's here. It's right here. You can you just need to look inward and I know it's like one of those things where it gets so frustrating because how many how long are we going to be looking inward well this is this is the whole point but I do want to say that sometimes you know we don't even where we're looking inward and we're going okay so like where is this and we're thinking and we're waiting for some big shift which I think, you know, at one point you're going to see that it has been a big shift and, you know, hey, I'm all for sudden big wonderful shifts of windfalls of luck and love and happiness and greatness and like let's all get windfalls of money because that's awesome. Like let's make that a normal thing. It is a normal thing. Like everything Everything and anything is possible. So why not think about what you want rather than what you don't want? Look, like, like, let's stop. Let's stop fighting with ourselves. Let's stop fighting with our mind. So uh, I just want to get um, just like two more cards here. I want to get um, a card from the, f from the fairy realm. Like, I love this deck so much. It's the... I think it's the Fairy's Oracle by Alana Fairchild, and it's it's so beautiful. Um, so let's just get a message from the Fae, from the Fae realms, and I want to take a moment to thank all of the benevolent beings in the unseen realms that are helping us right now, that help us every single day in on every step of our way. I mean, really, these beings are so these beings are the ones that like, you know, maybe misplace your keys a little bit and sometimes you're late, but you know, sometimes you missed that traffic jam or that accident because of it. So like, thank you, Faye. Thank you for bringing us all the happiness. Okay. Crystal magic, creation, dawn, the beginning. Far, far away, creative daydreaming. Okay, so this kind of flipped out here in the reverse, which I think is uh, very significant with this card on the bottom of the deck, the right moment, sensing out the right timing, solace, return to nature, tree wisdom, natural remedies, flower essences. So I think that, you know, going inwards, there's... That's all in these spiritual awakenings, you know, we go inwards, we go to nature, we go to the medicine, we want to heal, and, we're, and, and we go in to heal. And, you know, that can kind of be in there, you know, look at her wings, it's the same wings, you know, she, she's waiting for the right moment, she's looking at her dreams, which are so fun to dream creatively, but she thinks that they're far away. She thinks that they're far, far away. She thinks that they're not beginning yet, but they are. They are beginning. They are beginning. Shift your perception. Faith. See her, see beyond the current situation. Spring, see your seeds grow. The seeds are growing, man. The seeds are growing, ladies. Who, the seeds are growing, star angels, whoever you are. Merlin, coming through. Okay. <laughs> How can we... I just want to ask the fairies. 
how fairies may we all see and start and step out on the path to our dreams because we love being healed in our womb of the nature's solace with our natural remedies of nature that heal us and we do so much great work with the daydreams we bring forth from there but i am ready are you ready we are ready you are ready to fly okay yeah i think this is coming <laughs> knowledge means change once was important we're kind of crying for what we lost and what we once thought was important that we're not seeing eight again eight the number the same number as the abundance do we not see it we think that it's not here as we're changing because we're shifting so we've we've ex we've like exploded the old the old toxic world. So we've got to build a new, you know? Okay, fairy lovers, courtship, romance, falling in love, someone getting some new love coming in, you know, like the, <laughs> this is a, this is an exciting little, little turn coming in, but you know, really uh, we can have, Things go well in our love and our material reality at the same time. Whatever myth that told us we couldn't do it, you know, that was a lie. Tell your story, legacy, write your wisdom. Talk about this, okay? Tell this, your, this is an experience, whatever you're going through. Each of us are going through our own specific experience. We might, res we might all be able to come here and resonate together. Um, because we all have these same energies, but each of us have our own specific story and we're taking leaps of faith, I think. <laughs> I feel, that's what I feel. Everyone's taking leaps of faith. So whatever leap of faith you're taking, whatever, everything that you're doing, you know, also this is, this is the, reminding me of journaling, you know, just go to your journal every day. Every day you can go to your journal. Really, it really, it makes a difference. Like, see your story as you write it down write your story of your life because it's your ideas your seeds that you decided to to plant and i'm not saying the seeds that like somebody else said like these might be good seeds to plant and you're like i don't know like i don't know what i'm doing i'm talking about the seeds that you're like thank you gaia i love you i know this is my seed to put into the earth and that it will bring forth what is meant for me Follow me, come. This is your invitation to the world of fairy, to the hidden realms, you know? We are using all the hidden realms. We are using the divine realms. Write the story differently. Write the story how you want to live it. Now I'm just gonna close here with um, a postcard from Spirit and I'm just gonna read that. And then we'll close out. Spirit, what is one final message we can bring through that will really just allow us to walk forth freely and abundantly and implement this guidance in a useful way so that we can see and feel and experience the changes and the dreams and what we desire to feel in this life on a daily basis and how we desire the world around us to meet us. I want the, I decide that the world will meet me with the greatness that I am and that everything is working out for me. The best case scenario. Okay. So we've got three here. Dearest you, sometimes it's wonderful to give, but there are times you might find yourself over giving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. 
Let others give to you, even if you are more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer, the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude, without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Receiving is hard for some people, maybe you. You do not need a this for that in your exchange with others. You are doing good in the world. Let the world give back and support you. Then you can give up the old stories that have you convinced you have to do everything alone with no help. Let your well be filled. We all love you so, so much. Wow, thank you, thank you. I think we're um, definitely on the right path here. <sighs> Dearest wonderful you, to help you manifest a life for the highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires. Imagine all your desires, no matter what kind, like magic seed pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reactions from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others? Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways we can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you. Oh, okay, we got one more here. Oh, I like this one. Dearest you, we are gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning. You're stepping into a new version of your life, getting to tell a new story as you create it. Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand wells up inside you from a primal place? Woo! <laughs> The form of what you are growing has yet to take shape and it is exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both push and pushback when entering any kind of new relationship. It's okay to admit you don't really know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow that new version of life to take shape through you on behalf of your partner in life spirit. You have made it to a new level of awakening and contributing, and we are so excited to see where this will take you next. We are so proud of you. Wow. Okay, so I think that that's a really great place to stop off here. I just want to thank you so much for being here, and I just want to remind you that you are the oracle, you are the power, and what you feel when you feel good and elated and great inside and you know your truth and you're connected to that divine golden thread, that is who you really are. And I meet you there because that is who I really am. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'd love if you, uh, you know, wrote a comment, let me know how this resonates with you. Um, you know, I'd love some, if you want to support me, you can uh, like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. If you'd like a personal reading, it's uh, day, D-A-E, uh, light healing oracle at gmail.com and it's linked below. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. All right, bye, take care.